Hey everybody, and welcome back to part two of the Seasons Mod How To Tips and Tricks series. Uh, today we're going to take a look at geos. What are they, and why do you want to play with them? And uh, when do you pick them, and when do you not pick them? So, as you can see on the screen here, I'm at the FarmingSimulator.com website, and I've got the uh, all the mods that are related to Seasons or Realismus modding um, pulled up. And you can see there are five geos currently on the Farming Sim official mod website. Uh, they are Snowy Lands, Northern Sweden, Wales, Paraguay, and U.S. Midwest. Um, there are maybe some other geos that are out there on the internet. I know over at PCSG there is a um, it's either a Russian or a Ukrainian. A geo that's being uh, built and it is possible for you to make your own geo uh, there's information on the uh, realismist website on basically how to uh, edit a geo and make your own but this video is going to be more about the existing geos when you pick them when not to pick them and a little bit about maps that come already with geos built in how do you know and um, why is that pretty cool so Let's first take a look at snowy lands. So here we are with our um, mod selection page and you can see I'm going to pick uh, geo. I'm going to pick snowy lands and I've got seasons selected and I'm going to go ahead and go on into the map. While that's loading up, I'm going to read you what the snowy lands geo is set for. Uh, the description is, it's time to take a break from farming and have a winter holiday. Then go to Snowy Lands. Snowy Lands is a geo mod that is eternal winter and high snow. Drive around in your truck or tractor, slipping over the roads or draw snow circles. Enjoy your holiday. So, let's go ahead and jump on in. See, it's springtime. It is dark. It's still 6.40 in the morning. Now that is the time that you start um, the map with seasons. You always start at 6.40 in the morning in early spring. And you can see it is a lot darker at 6.40 in the morning than it was in part one when we booted up just normal seasons weather. You can also see that uh, we have frozen ground. Up there in the upper right, uh, the uh, wilted plant within the dirt icon and then the snowflake represents the frozen ground um, state. The ground is frozen. You can't do any field work. You can't fertilize. Basically, forget about doing anything on the fields. It will be prohibited. You can also see the air temperature is minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit and 14 degrees Fahrenheit ground temperature. Let's go ahead and pull up the seasons menu. And you can see that basically we can't plant a darn thing. Uh, the only thing we can do is harvest poplar, but we better be already planted because we can't even plant poplar. Let's take a look. And this is something I didn't show on the first uh, video of the series. Alt F will bring up the forecast. And you can see for the forecast, we're, we are set to, is this set to nine day seasons? Yes, it is. Let's change this to three days just for fun. So you can see in spring, summer, and autumn, our temperatures are going to be high 20, high 17, 34, 25. We basically never get out of winter. We have eternal winter with the Snowy Lands Geo. So let's go ahead and back out of the game and we'll pull up another Geo. All right, we're back over at the realism, or not the realism, but the farming simulator website, and we're going to pull up northern Sweden this time. So, here you go. We're going to go ahead and transition to the game. And as you can see, I have northern Sweden selected and seasons. So, let's go ahead and get on in. And while we're going in, I'll read you what it says. It says, discover the colder climate of northern Sweden. Enjoy longer and harsher winters with snow and colder soil temperatures. Northern Sweden is a geomod that simulates farming in the subarctic regions. 
latest version of Seasons mod is required, which at the time of this creation uh, was Seasons 1.1. Uh, but this video and all the other videos, unless otherwise noted, are done with versions 1.3. So here we are, <clears throat> just like the um, Snowy Lands Geo, it's fairly dark. Uh, we have frozen ground, but our temperatures are not quite as cold. We've got 25 degrees Fahrenheit ground and air temperature, and we have snow in the forecast. Let's go ahead and look at the forecast. We have Again, nine day season so let's go ahead and change that again uh, before we do that though let's take a look at the planting schedule you see now we can plant crops uh, but we can't plant pretty much anything until late spring and we only have late spring to plant wheat barley and canola we can't plant sunflowers at all don't even try uh, we can't plant soybeans or corn until early summer um, Oil seed radish, we're very limited in our planting schedule, as is poplar and grass. If you remember from the default seasons, uh, we can pretty much plant grass from early spring all the way to, uh, I think, the end of early winter. Uh, we could plant poplar from early spring to autumn, and we could harvest it all year round. Um, so you can definitely see that there are some significant changes to the planting schedule. Let's pull up three days. And you can see the forecast here. We have um, warmer temperatures. You can see we're finally getting out of frozen ground probably by early summer. And uh, but come middle August or uh, yeah, middle mid autumn, sorry, mid autumn, uh, we are back in snow and probably a frozen ground state from mid autumn all the way through until late spring or early summer of the following year. All right, so let's go ahead and break out and we'll pull up the next geo. So now we're gonna look at the Wales geo. Uh, this geo is for the, um, I guess the Eastern side of the UK. And uh, let's go ahead and transition over to our game. See, I've got the Wales geo selected and seasons. Just like before, let's go ahead and jump on in and I'll describe the geo in a little detail. It says, a mild, wet climate characterizes the weather of Wales. A short amount of proper harvesting time and lots of rainy days, you will have to keep, you'll have to plan carefully and work hard to keep your farm afloat. Wales Geo, mods for seasons that simulates farming in the Wales region of the UK. Go ahead and jump on in. As you can see, it is dark again at 6.40 in the morning, but our temperatures are higher yet. Uh, we don't have frozen ground. We've got 34 degrees air temperature, 43 degree ground temperature. And if we look at the forecast, we can see, uh, let's jump in to our planting schedule. You can see we can now plant things in early spring again. Uh, we can plant sunflowers. Uh, we can plant soybeans as early as early uh, or as late um, spring and into early summer. So this is looking more similar to base seasons. Again, we don't have sugar cane because there is no sugar cane growing in the UK. Go ahead and go over to our day season length. Oh, and now it's raining. <clears throat> so you can see by changing the season length, you basically reset the weather. So Looks like we have rain all three days of spring. Uh, we've got uh, one day of rain showing in our forecast for the middle of autumn. So as the description said, you can expect cool weather. Look at the temperatures. The highest we're getting in summer is upper 60s. Okay. And we are down in the 40s and 50s by mid-autumn. So I happen to know that the map um, churn farm that's over at fsuk for example has the whales geo built into it so if you play churn farm and you simply pick seasons mod and you don't pick any geo you're going to basically get the whales type of weather um, built in to the map now you could go and pick a different geo if you wanted if you do pick a different geo 
it will override what's built into the map. Uh, but if you do play on a map that has a, a geo built into it, then you'll get that weather unless you pick a different map or a different geo. I'll talk a little bit about how you can identify if a map has a default geo built into it once we get done talking about the other geos. All right, now we're going to take a look at the Paraguay geo. Uh, this geo was introduced with the Platinum expansion of uh, Farming Simulator 17 and with the introduction of Sugarcane. So if you want to play with Sugarcane, this is the geo you're going to have to pick if you're going to play with Seasons. Uh, if you play with Seasons and you don't pick the Paraguay geo, you're not going to be permitted to plant Sugarcane in any of the other geos or the base Seasons weather. When I plant sugarcane, you need to pick the Paraguay Geo. Only pick one Geo at a time when you're playing and never change your Geo once you start a game because it can have a severe impact on your crops. So let's go ahead and start the game up and I'll read you a little bit about the Paraguay Geo. So it says, experience the hot, humid environment of Paraguay with this Geo mod made specifically for Farming Simulator 17 Platinum Edition. The mod provides localized weather, growth, and economy for your season's gameplay. Animal feed and production is also changed to reflect the conditions of the area. This mod requires at least version 1.2 of Seasons, which is handy because we're using version 1.3. Uh, this was made specifically for the Platinum DLC, but can be used on any map. Let's go ahead and jump on in. And you can see instantly it is early spring it's 6 40 in the morning but it is bright as day let's see the sun we would uh so let's look at the uh shadows see we've got fairly short shadows so the sun is fairly high in the sky already at 6 40 in the morning we can also see that our air temperature and ground temperature are significantly higher than they have been on any other geo to date. Uh, we've got 66 degree air temperature and 68 degree ground temperature. Let's go ahead and look at our forecast. And even with a nine day season, you can see that in spring, we are having temperatures in the 90s and upper 80s. Look at that, day seven, we have a temperature of 95. Let's go ahead and change this back to uh, look at the season's main menu. You can see we can't plant wheat in spring we can only plant wheat in autumn you can harvest wheat in spring can't plant until autumn now this is very interesting because when you start a season's game you start with all your crops harvested and you can't plant wheat or barley until late until middle autumn so let's look at this we know that uh, i think field um 15 is normally in wheat when you start up this map but look it's showing harvested run over there and look we don't have wheat in that field it's gone so this bros is a very interesting challenge for seasons players with this geo is you start with not being able to plant wheat you can't plant wheat until the middle of autumn which means you got to go an entire game year before you can harvest your first wheat crop. You're not going to get straw until after one whole year of gameplay unless you use the buy bales mod. <clears throat> now sunflowers you can plant and soybeans you can plant fairly early. You can harvest fairly early. Corn, you better get on the ball quick because you only have early spring to plant corn. Potatoes, you got to wait until the winter. You can't plant to winter. Oops, you can plant corn in mid late winter as well as early spring. Sugar beets, not an option on this map. Instead, you're going to have to do sugar cane. Now look, you can plant sugar cane year round as long as your temperatures are above 54 degrees. Same with grass. So with this geo, we start out, we're able to plant everything right away because of ground temperatures. Go ahead and change this to three days just so that we can get a representation of our forecast you can see we've got um, summer 98 degrees temperature 92 and 92 
autumn, 97 degrees, 87 degrees in autumn um, from what we can see. So you can see this geo is South America to the T. It is hot. It is going to be very difficult to play seasons with this unless you use buy bales or some other mods that allow you to bring crop in fairly early into your gameplay. So with that, let's go ahead and jump on to the next geo. So the fifth and final geo that we're going to cover in this video is the U.S. Midwest geo. Um, that geo is uh, based around uh, the Midwest. I think it is uh, Michigan, I believe, or uh, Minnesota. We'll take a look here in a moment. Let's go ahead and show it here in the mods menu. So we've got Midwest selected and seasons. Go ahead and jump on in. And it says U.S. Midwest. Do you want to experience farming in the productive soils of the U.S. known as the Corn Belt? Enjoy the weather and growth of one of the most intensely farmed regions in the world. Note that sugar beet does not grow in this part of the world. I think that has changed with the latest version of this geo. Uh, the earlier versions of the geo did not allow sugar beets, but that was kind of a little bit of an error by the realism group. Let's go ahead and pull this up. So it is dark. It is not as dark as it was with some of the earlier geos, but it's definitely not full daylight uh, like we had with Paraguay. See, it started up raining. Uh, we have an air temp of 39 degrees and a ground temp of 45 degrees. Let's look at our planting schedule. And you can see we can now plant, we can double crop some of these fields now. So we can plant wheat not only in spring, but we can start planting wheat as early as late summer all the way through early winter. And we can harvest wheat as early as summer through early autumn. So you could plant wheat, harvest it, and plant it again. But no, you have to wait. Even if you plant in, in late summer, you can't harvest until early summer the following year. But what I mean by double rotating your fields is you can plant wheat, barley, or canola in early spring. In theory, by early summer, you could be able to harvest um, those fields. But probably more realistically, by midsummer, you're going to be able to harvest those fields. So you could plant wheat in one of your fields, harvest it, turn the field around, and put soybeans in the field, same game year, and harvest that, turn around, put wheat back in the field so you can harvest it early. And basically you can get two crops out of one field uh, to maximize your, your revenue and your profits. See here that we can plant sunflowers in mid spring through late spring. Soybeans, mid springs all the way through till the end of middle summer. Corn, mid spring through the end of early summer. Potatoes, sugar beets are we've got fairly narrow planting schedules. See, sugarcane is not possible. Sugarcane does not grow in the Midwest of the US. So there you can see some drastic differences between some other geos. Go ahead and pick three days and show you how the weather looks in our forecast. So with three day forecast or three day seasons, you can see that we get up into the 70s in spring. Uh, by summer, we have mid 90s and uh, upper 80s uh, for temperatures in autumn. We got 86 and then down to 50, 67 uh, and so forth. So that gives you a kind of an idea of the weather that you're going to see with the Midwest Geo. So now when we come back, we're going to talk about how do you know if a map has a customs Geo in it. All right, guys. So here I have 7-Zip open and I'm showing you a pre-release version of Midtown. Uh, that I've been playing on for quite a while. And Midtown has built into it a geo that is uh, that the Midwest geo is actually based on. Um, so this doesn't have the Midwest geo built in. Uh, it turns out the Midtown was actually kind of the, the basis of the Midwest geo itself. But at any rate, if you look at the zip file of the map, you can see if it has custom geo information or custom seasons 
files in it. You see here we have a season's daylight, season's growth, season's textures, and season's weather. So if you open up the mod, file, mod zip file for the map and you find any number of these files, you know that the map has some sort of custom seasons um, information related to it. Uh, as I'm pulling this up, let me show you this folder in the maps folder and the map one folder. How do you know if a map has a snow mask? Well, you go to the map one folder and you look for basically this file here seasons underscore density dot gdm if this file exists then the map is seasons prepared because it means it has a snow mask if that file does not exist it is not seasons prepared it does not have a snow mask now that does not mean that you can't play the game with seasons what it does mean is it can only snow up to one layer and bales do not rot now i haven't gotten into rotting bales yet and that will be in another section of the series but uh, that's just the two things to know uh, everything else related to seasons will still function as expected except for one layer of snow only and bales do not rot so let's take a look at one of these custom files so here we have the seasons growth xml file and this is from the uh midtown map see here that uh Basically, we have information related to uh, the default growth rates of the various crops. We have the different transitions, and a lot of this probably makes absolutely no sense to you because it makes very little sense to me. Uh, but basically, I just wanted to show you what a custom seasons growth file would kind of look like, uh, just so that you know. So that's how you know if a map has custom seasons growth, if a map has um, custom uh, file to, or custom geo basically built into it and such forth. So until next time, happy farming.